Welcome to Flip It and Zip It, where we give old clothes a brand new look instead of throwing them away. Today, we're going to flip a dress I've had for 10 years. I haven't worn this since college, but also I don't want to get rid of it. I love the pattern of the fabric and the material is really comfortable. My idea is to cut the skirt portion so the garment can have more of a peplum shape. Then I'm going to use the fabric I've cut off to make off the shoulder sleeves. Sounds simple, but let's see how I do. I'm gonna start by cutting the skirt. Here's a really important tip. Whenever you cut length off the bottom of a garment and sew a new hem, you want to start cutting at a spot that's longer than what you actually want, and I'll explain why. You want that extra length for when you fold over this new hem and sew it. After folding and sewing, the garment will be the exact length you want it. If you skip this part, the bottom of your garment will have a lot of fringe from where you did your cutting and everything could unravel. Also, in order to make sure the length is the same all around, I'm cutting the front first, then flipping the dress over, and then I'll start cutting the back. Now the dress is a top and has that bell shape I was hoping for. Next are the sleeves. For these, I'm going to use some elastic. Because I want the sleeves to be off the shoulder, I'm going to measure the circumference of my arm. Another tip, give yourself some extra length here too. Otherwise, you will have no room to move your arms when wearing the sleeves. I cut the extra fabric into sort of a square shape. I want the sleeves to have a bit of a ruffle, so I'm stretching the elastic to the same length as the fabric and using pins to keep several spots in place. I need to know where these spots are for when I sew the elastic onto the fabric. After I put my trusty sewing machine to work on the hem and the sleeves, it'll be time to sew the sleeves onto the garment. I'm going to do this part by hand because it's just a small stitch that we need to put these two pieces together. And there you have it. Overall, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. The sleeves had the soft ruffle effect I was hoping for. I'm happy with this new length and I'll definitely be wearing this with jeans, maybe shorts, maybe skirts. The possibilities are definitely out there. I hope this video inspires you to do a similar flip in the future. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.